people in general, you know, they want me to, they want our firm to invest money for them, not to you know, express political opinions. I hate the wealth tax idea. Um, you want certain taxes on people with high incomes, that's okay. Uh, but the wealth tax, I think, is an awful idea. What's the difference between putting taxes on people who have high incomes and a wealth tax? What, what to well, you is Well, if you have assets and you, you invest in your business, and all of a sudden they take uh, some percentage of your business away every year, how do you invest in your business any longer? And you create jobs. Where does, where does, that, where does that money come from? So, Ron, different question for you, but related, which is under, for example, the Mayor Bloomberg's plan, you're a New Yorker. Yep. Still, I believe. Yep. I don't think you've. you've nope, you've I'm a New Yorker. Florida just yet. Um, well, I do have a home in Florida, but yeah. I am a New Yorker. You pay are taxes in New York. Likely, New York you would be at a 50, what did we decide? A 56, 57? 56%. A 56, 57% rate. I'm over 50 right now. You're over 50. Are, are you okay at 56? Not on capital gains, though, Ron. On capital gains, less, but they're going right. up on that, too. Yeah, so. But no, but as you're so 50... one, of, one of the ideas behind me is, uh, you know, investing for the long term and holding your investments and trying to make them appreciate. Uh, but as far as if you're taking money away, what's, how are you going to do that? So basically, you couldn't uh, have a business like mine and, and invest and, and, you know, build out more floors and hire more people. We've never had in the history of a firm a layoff, not once. So basically, times are good, times are bad, we hire. So people never get fired because the economy is not doing well. Uh, we just take the hit in barren capital, and, they, and so people can plan their lives. And so, how do you how do you do that if all of a sudden your capital is being taken away from you to support your business? That's what, that's with the wealth tax. With the wealth tax, right? And, and with I'm, income tax, okay. So you don't have quite as much, but you have you know your your assets. You can grow it, but you can't grow quite as fast if the taxes are higher. Yeah, let's think logistically, right? You, so you own a business, and they say, okay, we want X percent of it. So what do you do? Do you sell off a piece of it? I mean, how do you actually execute on the tax unless you've got cash sitting on the side? I guess I equate it to when someone dies and there's an estate tax and maybe you want to keep a physical asset like a house. Is there enough cash in the estate in order to pay off the taxes on the house, right? It's the same idea. You've got to have cash ready well, or else either, you're selling off a part of your business. You either have to have cash on your balance sheet or you have to borrow or you have to sell part of your business. There's only, that's the alternatives. Uh, so, you know, so it makes it more difficult. It makes it much more difficult as a business person to grow a business. And supposedly, uh, what we're trying to do is grow businesses. And if you don't grow, if the businesses don't make enough money to expand, how are they going to do that? So that, that's, ultimately, it passes down into uh, the people who work for a business. How, how, where, is, where, where do those jobs come from?